Peter Burling endorses New America's Cup monohull. It's going to be a really cool boat. Peter Burling endorses New America's Cup monohull. It's going to be a really cool boat monohulls will feature in the next America's Cup. Fear not America's Cup fans, the new monohulls to be used in the 2021 regatta will have the wow factor of the catamarans that drew in new fans in San Francisco and Bermuda. That point was emphasized by Emirates Team New Zealand boss Grant Dalton as he unveiled a brief outline of the 75-foot monsters to rule the seas in Auckland when he unveiled the protocol for the 36th edition of the famous contest. We have been the primary driver of foiling in multi ulls We are looking to bring that same level to the monohulls, Dalton said. Team New Zealand helmsman Peter Burling talks up the monohull to be used in the next America's Cup. Team NZ design boss Dan Bernasconi said his team had been working on foiling and non-foiling options and we will present the fastest boat at the end of November when the actual design class is confirmed. Helmsman Peter Burling is certainly pretty excited about what he's going to get his hands on. Team New Zealand are adamant the new monohull boat can have the same impact as the foiling catamarans that had dominated the last two editions of the America's Cup. I can't give too much away but I'm just really excited about it. It's going to be a really cool boat. Really fun to sail and it will be really good match racing and pretty maneuverable. We've done a lot of concepting in the design office, just trying to make sure we can create a boat that will do what we want it to do. We're really happy with some of the concepts we've got. You just have to look at the innovation this team has managed to have over the sport in the last eight years to show that we're a pretty innovative bunch and we're really looking forward to this next chapter. Peter Burling knows how to make any boat go fast as he's proved in the foiling moths. That was the public endorsement of the move back to a single hull after multi hulls have been used in the last three editions of the Cup. Privately, one yachting insider at the packed press conference in the hallowed halls of the Royal New Zealand Yachts Squadron told me he had been given a brief look at part of the new concept and described it as jaw-dropping. I was like, holy smoke, he said. I think people will be happy. Team NZ CEO Grant Dalton announces the protocol for the 2021 America's Cup. At 75 foot the boats are larger than the giant cats that ruled in San Francisco and a major leap forward in size on the 50 footers used in Bermuda. They will require a crew of 10-12 sailors and cyclers will be allowed to help power them if individual teams believe that is the best way. Unlike Bermuda, syndicates can build two boats as a way of improving their performance. The design rule will be confirmed on March 31 with the first boats launched in April 2019 and the second boats launched from February 1, 2020. They will be used in six warm-up regattas over 2019 and 2020 with Team New Zealand mixing it up against their challengers in those regattas. Team New Zealand can only race their own two boats against each other once the official Defenders series begins in Auckland in January 2021. Unlike former cup holders Oracle, they sit out the Challenger series and will only be involved in the America's Cup match in March, 2021. Italian challenger of record Luna Rosa denied there was a condition to return to Mana Hills as part of their long-standing partnership with Team New Zealand, saying both sides became increasingly comfortable with a move in that direction as their talks increased. These won't be brick-and-butter Mana Hills, much more exciting, the visitors said. 
Dalton felt the shift away from Multiel's better reflected the sailing community. A recent survey of around 5,000 people had shown that 82% backed the move. He felt that pretty much translated to the percentage of people who sail monohulls compared to multi-ulls. While there would be some one design elements and a country of origin concept to the build, there was plenty of scope for syndicates to make their own mark with the boats. It is a technology race and so it should be, Dalton said. Added Bernasconi, the one design elements are important to keep the costs manageable but it is important to keep development open in other areas. Dalton wouldn't put a figure on what a successful budget might be for this edition of the Cup. I know ours will be less than Luna Ross's, he smiled. My team knows about cost constraints better than anyone. This team has won twice with the lowest budget. In the end people spend what they want. He believed 60% of budgets were made up of people's salaries.